Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, I hope uh, everyone is fine and uh, you people are uh, doing well at home. And uh, so you already know university has started online uh, teaching uh, system. And uh, so this will be uh, your first lecture of Mathema Math 335, Mathematics for Science and Engineering. And uh, so we will continue our lecture where we stopped last time. Definitely online teaching has some limitation. Uh, it will not be equivalent to just like classroom teaching. But uh, on the other side, there are some advantage of online teaching as well. You can repeat the lecture as many times as you like. And uh, you can have your notes. So and there's no time limit. You can study anytime. You can go on YouTube. You can download this video or you can repeat many times. So that is a big advantage of uh, this online teaching. And uh, uh, so uh, as an instructor, we are also doing most of the for instructor. They are also teaching first time online. And uh, I think many students, uh, they are also taking this course first time online. So there will be a problem. Uh, so uh, everything not, not will be 100% perfect. But uh, we will try our best to make uh, everyone's life more easy. And uh, so I will start my topic. Uh, so today our topic is uh, subspace of a vector space. So uh, this is a new topic. Uh, so first, what is the definition? So the definition is a subset H of a vector space V is called a subspace of V if it satisfy three properties. So the first property is the zero vector of V is in H. And the second property is for all u and v in h, the sum u plus v is in h. And the third property is for each a belongs to r, r is uh, an ideal number, and u belongs to h, h is your sub uh, space, uh, then a multiply u that will belongs to h. So if uh, any any uh, set so that will satisfy all these three conditions, so then we will call this uh, subspace. So what we need, we need uh, a zero vector of v in H. So it means first uh, we will find a zero vector if it is in uh, in uh, H. So uh, second, what we will do, we will find uh, we. Will, two vectors u and v and uh, if uh, they are in h so then what we will do we will sum two vectors yani u, uh, u plus v and if the sum is again in h so it means second condition will also satisfy for third condition we will take any real number a we call this a and we take any vector u and if we multiply a with u so again it should belong to h so maybe uh, uh, that will not be clear, much clear. Uh, we will move to the example. Then uh, you will, if you will come again with this definition, it will uh, look very easy. So before uh, explaining this, what uh, I will do, I will explain what are uh, vectors. You people already study vectors in uh, your calculus three course. So I will just recall uh, some vectors so that uh, for you people it will be very easy to understand. Now, uh, vectors in Rn. So, uh, if uh, we write only A, A is any real number. So, that is in vector in R power, you can say 1, R1. So, if I write here two vector, uh, two numbers, A1, A2, order pair like this, so that belongs to R square, just like your XY plane. If I write uh, A1, A2, A3, three numbers, so that belongs to R cube. R cube mean it is your just like uh, th uh, three dimension. 
similarly we can write for fourth dimension and we can write for n dimension so a1 a2 a3 an so that belongs to r power n so this this is called vectors in r n for example if i write 2 2 uh, belongs to r because 2 is a real number you know you can write minus 2 minus 3 0 any number any single number so that is a real number but if you write uh, two real number like uh, in this bracket 2 5 i have written just like x y this is the x y so that will be that will belong to r square so vectors uh, in r r2 uh, similarly if i write uh, three real number like 2 minus 1 7 so now there are three numbers so three numbers so that belongs to r power 3 similarly if i write uh, say any four number any four real number minus 1 0 6 8 uh, you can write 1 by 2 uh, 6 by 8 9 by 7 any number so now you can see here 1 2 3 4 number so that belongs to r power 4 so uh, if i i will discuss about the zero vector so zero vector in only r so it will be zero zero vector in r square it will be zero 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 vector in r cube it will be zero 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 similarly we can write uh, zero vector for r n if i write zero vector for r n it means it will be here zero 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 all values it will be zero so that will be zero vector in r n so uh, we were talking about uh, subspace now before subspace you must know uh, a subset if for example we have uh, this set 1 2 3 4 and b is a set 1 2 3 so in that case uh, we will call b is a subset of a b is a subset of a because all the values of b so they belongs to a so it means uh, a uh, contains b or all the values of b they are in a so b is a subset of a so similarly this uh, subspace uh, uh, vector space is a bigger set just like a and subspace is a smaller set just like uh, b so if uh, so so b b will be called subset if it can uh, it all the values of b they are in a so similarly there are properties of some vector space there are some properties of the subspace so previously in uh, last uh, slide we saw, we saw there are three properties if three properties satisfy so then it will be a subspace now how you will add two vectors uh, so that is called vector addition so if for example you have a two vector one vector is u we give this name uh, which is a1 a2 a3 and the other vector is v say you can uh, give b1 b2 b3 and now if we want to add two vectors u and v so u plus v this you have already done in your calculus 3 course so same uh, addition so u plus v will be equal to uh, so you add first component with first a1 plus b1 second component a2 plus b2 similarly a3 plus b3 so th that will be your vector addition and then scalar multiplication uh, scalar multiplication means if you want to multiply any vector with a real number so if a is a real number and u is a vector say here k1 k2 k3 where k1 k2 k3 are any real number then if you want to multiply a with u a is a scalar and u is a vector if you multiply a with u so a multiply with uh, this u k1 k2 k3 so if you multiply this so this will be a multiply with k1 so this will be a k1 a k2 and a k3 so in this way we can uh, multiply a real number with a vector and in this way we can add two vectors so that is called vector addition so for this lecture you must know what is vector in r2 vectors in r3 vectors in rn so uh, and what is the zero vector in r square r3 and uh, like this so if uh, that is clear then uh, we can move uh, to the example so uh, our first example uh, is uh, consider the vector space v which is equal to equal to r cube now you uh, you must be uh, very clear when, when we say consider the vector space v is equal to r cube so r cube mean now here every time we will have three elements in that set just like uh, 
uh, here you can see a b c so three element so consider the vector space v is equal to r cube let h consist of all vectors in r okay in r cube so it mean h uh, consist of all vectors in r cube it, it mean this is a subset of uh, this bigger set whose entries are equal but the condition is uh, whose entries are equal mean uh, condition is a is equal to b equal to c it mean a will be equal to b and b will be equal to c so this is our uh, uh, sub, uh, subspace so h now we have to prove whether h is a subspace or not with this condition with the con con what is the condition a is equal to b equal to c so if we if it is a subspace then it must satisfy three condition if you remember uh, from the first slide so then uh, we can e easily check that all the three properties are satisfied by h now what are the three properties you know so first property was zero belongs to h now here it is in r3 uh, so r3 what is zero in r3 it is zero 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 now if you see the condition for this was a equal to b equal to c now you can see 0 equal to 0 equal to 0 what is a a is 0 b is 0 c is 0 and 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 so it means first condition satisfy and which is uh, obvious clear uh, about the second condition we need two vectors so first uh, if i assume any vector u say a a a you can write a1 a2 a3 you can write any any vector here you can even write here number just to check and uh, v vector you can write b b b you can write even uh, other thing but uh, remember uh, you cannot write uh, here a different number like here you can write 2 here 3 here 5 why because what was the condition condition was a equal to b equal to c so your u must belongs to h this is very important so here a must be equal to a uh, this second number and this must be equal to third number so it means a equal to a equal to a so you can write here 2 2 2 you can write here 3 3 3 you can write here a1 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 so here uh, similarly b b b it means all three number must be same why same because it is given the uh, in the condition a must be equal to b must be equal to c it means first element must be equal to second element and third uh, element so all element must be same so then if you add u plus v now u plus v is you add u and v so you add first component first a plus uh, a plus b then a plus b then third a plus b now you can see again your first component is this your second component is this third component is this and all they are equal and they must be equal if they are not equal then it will not belong to h so that is why we are saying u plus v a plus b a plus b a plus b that belongs to h why belongs to h because all three uh, values they are same so the, this first second third you can see a equal to b equal to c now for third condition let k is any scalar you can write here any number even you can write 2 3 4 whatever you want because it is any real number and let u equal to a a a uh, why we have taken uh, same number because u i said must belongs to h so with the, with the h condition was a must be equal to b must be equal to c so a is equal to a is equal to a now uh, if you multiply what was the third condition you have to multiply the, with the vector so k u so if you multiply k with the u so it mean it will be k a k a k a now you can see uh, again it belongs to h why it belongs to h because first uh, element second element third element they are all uh, same first entry second entry third entry they are all equal because in the example you can see whose entries are equal uh, that is h equal to a b c such that a equal to b equal to c it mean all three entries must be same now you can see here k a k a k a all are same so all the three conditions satisfy so therefore this uh, h is a subspace if one of the condition will fail so then this will not be a subspace okay i hope this example is clear now uh, if still there is a problem uh, we can move to another example and uh, i i think it will clear your doubt if there is any now next example is let v is equal to r cube 
is a vector space again uh, we took uh, example from r, r cube you can uh, we can take example from r square r4 any any example and let h be a sub uh, set of v and is defined as h as equal to a b c such that a is greater equal to 0 now here you can see in previous example uh, there was condition condition was a equal to b equal to c now in this example only the condition is a must be greater than equal to 0 it means the first element must be positive uh, so it means uh, it, uh, it must be greater than or equal to 0 so uh, show that then h is not a subspace of v no here what is the question you have to prove h is not a subspace in previous question you have to prove h is a subspace so it means in this case one of the property will fail so let us see which uh, property will fail now solution Again, we will check first uh, 0 uh, is here or not. So, 0 belongs to H. Why 0 belongs to H? Because 0 in R3 is 0, 0, 0. And uh, what is the condition? Must You must check this condition. So, the condition was A must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, you can see here what is A, your first element. So, first element is 0. And 0 is greater than or equal to. So, you can see equal to 0. So, it is uh, 0 here. Say in exam I ask this question only a greater than 0 equal was not there So then your first condition will fail because you must write 0 so 0 for r3 is 0 0 0 and uh, If for example here you write uh, If the condition is a greater than 0 it mean equal not 0 so it then here it will be 0 So it mean then this does not belongs to h so you will stop your question here and no need of second and third uh, condition So you will stop here so you must see the uh, condition what is the condition so, so you have to be very careful in exam what are the conditions given now if you move to the second condition let u is equal to i said you can take any number uh, just like you no know, 1 minus 2 3 we have taken this number that belongs to h why that belongs to h because you must check the condition condition is a must be greater than equal to 0 so here what is a a is 1 1 is greater than equal to 0 here b and c you can take any number there is no problem and v, v we, uh, we suppose 2 minus 3 minus 4. I said you can suppose any number. But the, what is the condition? Condition is only on the first number, on this number. So you can see 2. So 2 is greater equal to 0. So it means that uh, v, u also belongs to h. v also belongs to h. And now we want to check whether u plus v belongs to h or not. So uh, this was u, this plus v. Now if I add this, so 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 2 plus minus 3 is minus 5, 3 plus minus 4 is minus 1. So this again belongs to H. Why belongs to H? Because here what is A? A is 3 and 3 is greater than equal to 0. So it means that satisfies this condition. So there is no need to check what is happening in B and C. So only you have to check what is A, A uh, in the given condition. Now for third condition, uh, let K belo uh, is equal to minus 3 and that belongs to R. And let u is equal to 1 to 5. So u, u why you take 1 to 5? Because uh, your first element must be greater than equal to 0. So that is why I took here 1. If, for example, if some student may be think, can I take here minus 1? No, you cannot take uh, a minus 1 because your first element must be greater than equal to 0. So we, uh, we took u equal to 1 to 5. But k you can take any real number. So I took here k minus 3. So if I take k minus 3 and u this and if I multiply k with u, so minus 3 multiply with 1 to 5. So what do you get? You get minus 3 minus 6 because minus 3 1 multiply 1 minus 3 minus 3 multiply 2 minus 6 minus 3 multiply 5 minus 15. Now this does not belong to h. Why does not belong to h? So you can see here first element. What is first element? It is minus 3 and minus 3 is not greater than uh, or equal to 0. And this is less than 0. So it means that this does not belong to H. Because in the H, the condition was A must be greater than or equal to 0. But here, what is coming? Minus 3. So minus 3. So it means this does not belong to H. So therefore, H is not a subspace. So you in exam, you have to be very careful. Sometimes what students do, if I take here K, say, if I K, take K3, so then if I multiply if not minus if i multiply 3 here with so then it will be 3 6 and 15 only and then this belongs to h 
but in that case then it mean this uh, uh, this will be a subspace but my question was show that h is not a subspace so uh, here i must take some negative number if i will not take negative number then it will become a subspace so you have to be very careful in exam so uh, we, can, we can solve one more example if uh, still it is not clear now another example is uh, show that w is not a subspace of a vector space v where w is defined as w is equal to a b c again we took uh, some vector in r cube and now what is the condition such that a square plus b square plus c square is less than or equal to 1 now this is the condition every time we must check this condition now again if i look at the first condition that is obvious clear why because 0 what is 0 vector in r cube it is 0 0 0 and that belongs to w why belongs to w if you write here 0 square plus 0 square plus 0 square so this will be 0 and this will be less than or equal to 1 so it means first condition satisfy now for the second condition uh, let u is equal to 1 0 0 and that belongs to w so uh, I, I choose u equal to 1 0 0 because uh, it belongs to w because if I write here a, what is a, a is 1 b is 0 c is 0 so if I put here 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square so this will be 1 is less than or equal to 1 so it means this belongs to w maybe some student in exam did, uh, did take here 2 2 0 0. Uh, so that belongs to w so this will be wrong the reason is if you take here 2 so 2 square is 4 4 plus 0 plus 0 so this will be 4 is less than 1 which uh, is not uh, correct so uh, so i have to take that u which must satisfy this condition and then similarly i took v as 0 1 0 so 0 your a is 0 your b is 1 your c is 0 if i substitute here so 0 square plus 1 square plus 0 square so again you can see this will be less, 1 is less than equal to 1 so it means v also belongs to w now if i write u plus v if i add these two vectors u and v so 1 plus 0 so this will be 1 0 plus 1 equal to 1 0 plus 0 it will be 0 now this does not belong to w why does not belong to w because if i put here this is a this b this c if i put here a square plus b square plus c square here value so then it will be 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square so this will be 2 and 2 is greater than 1 and our condition was it must be less than or equal to 1 so it means your second condition will fail in this case so w is not a subspace of v so there is no need to check third condition if second condition will satisfy then we will move to third condition if one of the condition fail you can stop question over there and then you can move to the uh, next property or uh, next question now uh, there is another example if still there is confusion i said in the beginning uh, for online we will try our best to explain as much as possible maybe one example is not enough two examples is not enough so we are solving more example so that it will be very clear uh, to you people now next example is let v is equal to r cube is a vector space let h be a subset of v and is defined as h is equal to a b c such that a plus b is less than or equal to 0 and c is greater than or equal to 0 now the condition is very interesting a plus b must be less than or equal to 0 and c must be greater than or equal to 0 now if you check here first condition again 0 0 0 0 so that belongs to h why because what is a 0 b 0 so a 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 0 and c is uh, also 0 so 0 is greater than or equal to 0 so again it means this condition satisfy now for the second condition let u equal to 1 minus 2 3 uh, that belongs to h why we took this uh, 1 minus 2 3 because this satisfy this condition it must satisfy this condition you you must take u and v those uh, vectors which satisfy this condition how it satisfy this condition what is a a is 1 what is b b is minus 2 so 1 minus 2 it will be minus 1 and minus 1 is less than 0 so it means uh, this is fine and c is greater than equal to 0 so you can see 3 so 3 is greater than equal to 0 it is fine and similarly we took v as 0 minus 1 2 
So again, if you want to check condition A is 0, B is minus 1, C is 2. So 0 plus minus 1, it will be minus 1, which is less than 0. And C is 2, which is getting 0. Again, this belongs to H. Now, if you add U plus V, U and V. So 1 plus 0, it will be 1. Minus 2 plus minus 1, it will be minus 3. 3 plus 2, it will be 5. So again, this belongs to H. Why? Because if you add uh, first a plus b, so 1 plus minus 3, it will be minus 2 and this will be less than 0 and c is your 5 which is greater than 0. So it means second condition also satisfy. Now for the third condition, let k equal to minus 5 belongs to real number. Now we suppose uh, any real number, I said we can take any real number and you, uh, you can take the same u or you can take some different u, it's up to you. Uh, so u is 2 minus 4, 4 and that belongs to h. Again, if I apply this condition, so it will satisfy. Now, if I multiply k with the u, so minus 5 multiplied with the 2 minus 4, 4. So this will be minus 5 multiplied with 2, it minus 10. Minus 5 multiplied minus 4, this will be 20. So minus 5 multiplied 4, which is minus 20. So again, you can see, uh, you will check whether this condition satisfy here or not. So now what is a? a is minus 10. What is b? b is 20. So minus 10 and plus 20. So this will be plus 10. And uh, so plus 10 is not uh, less than 0. Plus 10 is greater than 0. So it means this condition now, third condition fails. So that does not belong to h because this uh, minus 10 plus 20 is uh, 10 and 10 uh, a plus b is less than 0. So 10 is not less than 0. 10 is actually greater than 0. So that condition now here fail. Again, I said uh, uh, here, uh, it uh, maybe if you take k equal to 5, maybe uh, the answer will become opposite of this. So you have to be very careful. You have to check what in the question teacher asks, whether you have to prove h is a subspace or h is not a subspace. So you have to be very careful. Okay, I, I hope uh, that example is clear. And then uh, you have a homework. So if you, if all these examples are clear, now I think you can easily solve these two questions. Uh, so first question is, uh, show that W is not a subspace of vector space V is equal to R cube, whose, uh, where W is defined as W is equal to A, B, C, such that A is greater than or equal to B and C is less than or equal to zero. Now, every time, you must check this condition whenever you are taking u, v uh, vectors. So they must satisfy this condition. Uh, what is the condition? A must be greater than or equal to b and c must be less than or equal to 0. Okay, apply the, all the three conditions. And the, what is the question? Question is you have to prove it is not a subspace. So it means one, one of the uh, three conditions so, uh, will fail. One of the conditions will fail here. Now the second question is uh, show that W is not a subspace of V where W consists of all matrices with zero determinant. Now this is a challenging question. So if you will solve this question, I will be very happy. But uh, if uh, still you feel uh, difficult, uh, uh, next time inshallah, I will discuss in the class. So, uh, so uh, I will upload this video. And uh, then uh, in the class, uh, normal classes, whenever we have, say now our class will be on Tuesday. So during the class uh, on Moodle, so I will be online on Moodle. So you can discuss uh, any problem, any 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 difficulty. If, if you have solved this question or if uh, you have some other suggestion to improve the lecture, so I will be very happy. But please, please try to solve all these questions one more time at home and then it will be more easy. If you will only look at the question and you are not going to solve, then uh, it will be very difficult to understand. Mathematics, you must do with your hand. You must uh, uh, have a good practice and then you can uh, get good marks. So I, I hope uh, you enjoyed this lecture and uh, inshallah. Uh, uh, you, you will see more lectures coming on YouTube. So please uh, be regular in online classes and uh, try to understand as much as possible. Thank you very much and uh, have an, a, a good time. Assalamu alaikum.